Hi uh, guys, I uh, know I haven't posted videos in a while, so I'm going to post basically one of the builds I've done in Path of Exile. It's a game I'm really addicted to. Honestly, I'm finding the new YouTube layout and things like that just be extremely, extremely demotivating, so I don't know. Um, so I'm just going to post this as a kind of, a, I guess, a holdover and to show, kind of show you some neat things I've been up to. And this is an unsuccessful build I've had. Uh, so this is uh, my character, Wand Lat, uh, who's a wander, because I actually want to try to make a wander for a change. Uh, which is different. I don't usually put myself in direct combat. I really like the the witch class, the intelligence classes, because they're very kind of glass cannony and also can be very powerful um, if you build it right. Obviously, I didn't hear because it's an unsuccessful build. Um, so I'll give you a rough overview of uh, what I've done in my skill tree. If you've never seen the the Path of Exile passive tree, it's it's fucking humongous. Anyways, this character is uh, currently level 74, and I've stopped pretty much playing with it because of the fact it's not really fun for me. It does have a role. It, do it is effective, but not very effective by itself. Um, and the reason for this is, uh, so basically I, I am escaping the Witch Tree. I grab the Lord of the Dead, which is basically like a... Uh, just to give me myself some more skeletons, because I use a skeleton totem to basically distract enemies, because I'm so fucking weak. And uh, I go and get some energy shield uh, as much as I can while I'm exiting the tree. There's a lot of, like, and then basically you have to spend all of your passive points in these stupid-ass fucking wand nodes right here. Some of these are good, like 10% of physical wand damage out is uh, fire damage. And there's also one for lightning and cold. Also, you can add knockback when you get critical strikes, which you can get a lot of if you want to. Uh, there's also, like, static blows. You get, like, a chance to shock enemies, which is basically adding more damage on. Uh, more wand damage per power charge. Uh, also, chaos inoculation, which makes my maximum life one, but I'm immune to chaos damage, which is actually... Um, it's bad because I can't just pop a life potion whenever I'm getting fucked. Um, it's, but it's good because I no longer have to worry about cast inoculation, and I didn't really want to invest in life anyway, so this is why this kind of made sense for me. Uh, some buffs for auras and shit like that. And also some accuracy, because accuracy is one of the shittiest things for this character, because uh, there's no good accuracy notes. I spent a lot of my time in the shitty shadow tree, because it's I needed like Ghost Reaver, which is basically life leech applies to energy shield instead of life and things like that. So I got a bunch of these like evasion fucking energy shield nodes and things like that. It was the best I could think of, and also frenzy charges. Uh, and also, uh, I get a, some mana leech as well to go with it. Um, one of the best things I have though is Conduit, which is, uh, this is, I would consider to be a team player character, because I share my power charges and my frenzy charges with um, other players. I don't get, I don't have any way of getting endurance charges. Uh, well, there is a way, but uh, I never use it in party play. Uh, and so there's that, and then just, that's pretty much all this character does, is all the points were invested into wand uh, shit. So uh, let's go to, I guess, Solaris, because um, that's one of my favorite places in this game. So uh, I have a big uh, microtransaction whoring bubble around me uh, for whatever reason, because I decided it looked fucking awesome. Uh, yeah. And so um, uh, first of all, I run Clarity. Clarity is like level... Where the hell is Clarity? Clarity is right here. Uh, level 11. Uh, discipline's level... F uh, so I kept it at level 11. Uh, I also have, obviously, Discipline. That's the big bubble around me. Discipline gives me more energy shield. Clarity gives me more mana regeneration, because this is a very mana-hungry kind of character. Uh, I have Purity of Lightning, although I don't use it, uh, because it basically prevents me from summoning skeletons. Um, our plan in the party that I was playing with two other guys was that we'd all run each... Uh, this, this is basically a Resistance Aura. To add lightning and and that one guy would have fire resistance and the other guy would have cold resistance and then we'd all like be have a lot of good synergy and we did have a lot of synergy it's just this wasn't a fun class for me to play so a lot of us have re-rolled different things um so it's kind of interesting uh lightning warp is really fun that's this is my escape skill and so it's really fucking fast hello jimling queen or lady diablo or whatever all right okay so that's my escape ability um, I have Summon Skeleton, which is basically I have faster casting on a totem. Uh, I think it's this thing. Yeah, Summon Skeletons, Minion Life, faster casting, and Spell Totems. So basically, I, I cast some really fast totems, and they're just basically fodder to basically go die so I don't have to get killed by stuff. Because I have, I have a lot of energy shield, as you know, but not a fuck ton of armor, and that's where this class basically fails for me. I don't even max fucking fire resist, and lame as hell. 
But also, uh, there's also this ability. Uh, so, okay, so the, tor the two core abilities, like I'm just showing you random bullshit, is one is Power Siphon, and the other one is Blood Rage. And Blood Rage will basically, every time I kill something, I get a, a Frenzy Charge, and every time uh, I hit something, I also leech life from physical damage, which is really nice. Um, the other thing I have is Power Siphon, which is uh, basically the main wand attack. It splits into three, and uh, if I it has something called Calling Strike on it, which means if I hit if I hit something with 10% or lower life, I kill them instantly. And also, if I kill them instantly, they also drop more items with this with this, with this ability too. So basically, um, what I've kind of transformed this class into is like a, a giant fucking magic whoring class, which actually isn't that bad. I get 102 extra magic find. I wasn't even fucking trying for magic find, but the main thing is I have like a, a huge amount of de dexterity issues. This is my wand. The wand is actually. Um, Considerably pretty good. Uh, Pat Paticus uh, bought it for me, which is uh, one of the guys I play with. But however, it's still not good enough. Um, I can't hold my own, unfortunately. I have a nice shield for resistances, some boots for running around, and some gloves for magic find whoring. That's pretty much the only reason I have it. Also, a hat that's skinned as a tricorn because tricorns are totally sweet. The armor I have is not that great either, but honestly at this point I wouldn't really bother with it, upgrading any of this, because it's just not that good. So basically here I go and I put the I put the thing down, and I now just start hitting the fuck out of everything. So as you can see I'm getting power charges and frenzy charges, and had I been playing with the party right now I'd be doing, uh, I'd be giving all these away to them. And this raises my DPS to about uh, 347, what, something, so wait. 1,395. And so, um, yeah, this guy does substantially extra physical damage and he's gonna revive a bunch of guys. It's like part of the nem- I'm playing a nemesis, by the way, as you can see by the top, uh, right there. So, um, I know you're probably thinking, oh, Mike, this looks perfectly fine. It's not a soloing build, though. It's totally not a so oh, shit, fuck that. Okay, that's a Storm Herald, which, uh... Fine, let's go man mode that, but I might be logging out in just a second here. Because, uh, I'm probably gonna get fucked by that. Yeah, no, Kiwi, run! Okay, anyways, uh, fuck this place. Um, so, so yeah, so, uh, rather than die a nemesis, because this is a hardcore league, I'd rather just, uh, stay alive and, uh, explain some stuff. So, um, for potions, since I no longer need health potions and I have a really fast mana regen, like, health is not gonna do anything. Mana is not going to do it. Well, I have a lot of mana regen, so it doesn't matter. Um, so I run basically granite flasks, which recharge when one recharges when I deal critical strike, which you can imagine with power charges is very often. That's what power charges do. They give you a lot of critical strike. Frenzy charges let you attack faster. It's kind of a complicated game if you... Well, not that complicated if you're just getting into it. So I have that. Uh, so just, just two, two granites. Because my armor is so shit, that's what I have to do. And then I also have uh, immunity to curses during flask effect uh, for a for a quartz flask which is basically I can essentially pop this and then run really fast out with a quicksilver flask and basically there's no way an enemy will block me from getting out of a bad situation uh, I could also like like lightning warp too but I, I kind of like this because it's kind of nice it prevents the desync and also I get immunity to curses in case I get cursed by something I also have one, this one also dispels frozen and shield, the other one removes bleeding, which is a huge deal in this league, so yeah. Um, one of the cool little things I do have is I have a castle and stun, which happens very often because I have such low, I have no health, so you get stunned based upon your maximum health, and so when that happens, I have a chance of uh, casting Molten Shell that lasts uh, with increased duration. Molten Shell will give you more armor. Fortunately, it's still not enough. Uh, I don't really have much else here, uh, just like, I've detonate dead for whatever reason and yeah and that's that's pretty much it it's crap okay I'm, I'm i'm really upset well not really but you know it's 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 one of those things that it was a learning experience and I, it didn't work out too well it's just not fun to play and there's there's some guy with razor footprints but there is a, a another class i'll show you um that i'm working on right now this one right here now, uh, this one's the one I'm actually working on right now, and so it's a, actually a hell of a lot of fun. Um, I actually, um, he's using the Quicksilver of that guy. And I'll make probably maybe a separate video when this guy gets to full. But he's basically, um, I promised myself I wouldn't do another fucking summoner, but I did another fucking summoner anyways. Sort of a summoner. Uh, I basically go for a lot of the night life notes and area damage stuff. 
and then summons. But not the summons, uh, so like mostly the damage based minion damage stuff. And also the Spectres. This is very much a Spectre heavy build. build. Um, also some mana and life because I needed mana. Uh, I'm not getting Lord of the Dead in the middle, which is basically, you know, I'm technically giving up about, I would say, 40% maximum life because I'm not getting this shit either. And 30% uh, thir damage I'm also giving up. But I get like some more damage down here, which I haven't got to yet. I'm going to travel down there pretty soon. And that's pretty much what this guy's all about. But he also has some, a lot of fire damage and burning damage, because I realize that fire damage doesn't actually have a huge problem with, uh, uh, like, it's just, it's not that much of a point investment. It's right around all the summon things, so I'm like, oh, I'll just make a build around this. So, you know, I'll show this guy off to you. I'll go to, I'm going to Cruel Solaris Temple instead, uh, just to kind of show you. So, uh, I have Vitality, which is my first aura, which basically more life regeneration, which is great for uh, minions. And then I also have clarity, because I like mana regen. All right. And so now we're going to run around and we're going to go find some enemies to fight. So uh, I have also a flame curse, and then I go and set everything on fire. I Some some guys said that Mike would never make a pyro. Where do they say now? So same deal, I have the uh, totem to basically uh, distract enemies, and then I can also make a, a shit ton of zombies. It's pretty fucking crazy. Um, but you haven't seen the specters yet, and I have to go find the specters, so uh, let me go find those for you. Okay, I'm back in town, just for a moment. Uh, so I'm just going to roughly show you some of the abilities I do have. Uh, so I just got summon zombie... Uh, which is like up here, raise zombie damage, life, speed. Uh, basically your typical, uh, the, the, the middle is probably going to be for specters. Right now it has like skeletons on it and then boots with the bones of allure, which is basically for another specter. Uh, fuck off that right now. Um, and so it, there's a specter, uh, some damage, some life leech, and some projectiles, which is, which is good for any kind of projectile. You want your specters to be ranged because you get to summon any kind of, uh, uh, enemy you want to fight for you, which is really nice, and I'll show you what I've chosen in a second. Then I have this uh, Searing Touch, which really raises, the, this is what makes this build work. A lot of burning damage, a lot of uh, spell damage. So right now I have Fireball, Chance to Ignite, so they ignite pretty often. Uh, increased burning damage, and also Elemental Proliferation, which is uh, elemental status effects are spread to other enemies, which is nice. And then I have like Clarity, Reduced Mana, Flammability, and Vitality. Flammability is that curse I was doing to make them more flammable. And then I just have a random ass belt and two rings, and then this this summon related. Uh, I don't know what that is, and pretty much just the potions are just like mostly give stuff to minions so that they don't die. And so uh, the farthest I've gotten is I'm just farming on ledge with the guys. So I'll show you here. Uh, yes, I have fucking flame towels, and this synergy is crazy because flammability with these guys equals just like okay, let's just go. Uh, this is a really easy place to farm, by the way, so... So I set him on fire. And let, I'm not even gonna do anything here. Oh, well, here, I'll just make a fucking thing. They, they fucking wreck everything for me. I don't need to do shit. So, basically, my whole job here is to basically just fire one really awesome, like, fuck you fireball at whatever, and then they set on fire, and then everything around them sets on fire. All while these guys are doing damage to these things, and we do multiply like multiplied damage all well, because of the stupid curse I have, and it has so much ridiculous synergy I had no idea. Like everything just melts, and it melts in a party too. And the great thing about this is I don't have to be a passive uh, a, like summoner. I'm not missing that much from being like a full ass summoner. So, you know, I've, I've actually thought about this a whole lot, and I'm like, well, you know, I could have done this with my wand or something like this. Because, you know, if I'm going to use the wand for us to finish off people, which is what I'm currently doing, I could do that anyways. With, with this stuff, and actually do some shit. Like, do some actual damage. So, I don't know, that's pretty much it. But, um, yeah, that's, I guess that's all I want to show you. I'll may maybe make another build when, uh, sorry, another video when this build gets it to its full potential. I don't know if you guys are interested in me showing off shit like this. Uh, but, you know... I don't know. Let me know what you think. So, uh, uh, see you later. Bye.